Good afternoon and welcome to this very special, even if unusual, service of worship. I'm here on our fellowship terrace where in most years we would gather for this service where people would fill these brick walls with their furry, scaly, and feathery family members. It's one of my favorite services each year. And though we might have found a way to meet together in person or in animal, <laughs> We thought it best that we worship in this way, and in doing so, hopefully reach more people. So let us worship God together and give thanks for our pets and pray God's blessing on all creatures in God's beautiful creation. The compassion of God, the joy of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the creative power of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Let us pray. Source and sustainer of life, we cherish the myriad works of your hands. Water, earth, and sky are yours, as are all the inhabitants, wild and tame. We thank you for creatures that nourish and serve us, befriend, enrich, entertain, and protect us. May we, who are made in your image, care for them well. And may your groaning yet wondrous creation rally and thrive, revealing to all who come after us your wise, redemptive, transfiguring love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living thing that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every ringed bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds fly, multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind, and it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God saw that everything that he had made and indeed it was very good. The word of God for all of God's people. Thanks be to God. Hear now a reading from Psalm 148. Praise God! From heaven. Praise God! On the heights. Praise God! All of you who are his messengers. Praise God! All of you who comprise his heavenly forces. Sun and moon. Praise God! All you bright stars. Praise God! You highest heaven. Praise God! Do the same, you waters that are above the sky. Let all of these praise God's name, because God gave the command, and they were created. Praise God from the earth, you sea monsters and all your ocean depths. Do the same, fire and hail, snow and smoke, stormy wind that does what God says. Do the same, you mountains, every single hill fruit trees, and every single cedar. Do the same, you animals, wild or tame, you creatures that creep along, and you birds that fly. Do the same, every single person. Let all of these praise God's name, because only God's name is high over all. Only God's majesty is over earth and heaven. Praise God! The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us pray. Gracious Lord of love, we affirm our vital connection with all living creatures. Empower us to seek their welfare, intervening where needed, defending and tending your world with grace, compassion, and dignity. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Patient Lord of life, guide our choices so that we might safeguard habitats, ensuring by your grace 
that the mysteries and beauties of nature unfold for future generations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Saving Lord of Lords, your word foretells a day when the wolf will lie down with the lamb. Renew our vision for the peaceable kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, gracious God, for the sake of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen. What I'm missing most this year is the personal interaction with each person, each family, each pet. Those wonderful creatures that fill our lives, that become our family. You will see in just a moment pictures of pets and their families from members of the congregation. And as you watch, we ask God's blessing on them and we ask God's blessing on all of you who are worshiping here. Bless, O oh God, these your creatures and all who are involved in their care and protection. Amen.
Let us pray together. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Now may God, the creator of all that is, God, the redeemer of all creation, God, the life-giving spirit, bless you and be with you all now and forever.